KFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials down 240, NASDAQ off 80, S&P's off 26, gold contract up $23, trading at $15.51 an ounce. You have silver up 12 cents, $18.16 an ounce, light sweet crude up 227, $63.47 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note up 19 ticks, 129.05. The 30-year up a full point plus four ticks at 157.24. Now, notes and bonds, folks, bottom line, last week what they did, they tested the lows, had lighter volume, rejected the lows, stack going higher yesterday with volume. They have volume today. They continue to want higher price, lower yield. King dollar, King dollar up 53 ticks, trading 96,898. King dollar tested the highs of Tuesday, failed on price this morning. Bottom line, you can expect King dollar is going to make its way down to the 95 area. Euro is at 111, the yen is at 108.16, and the pound is at 130 to 1 US dollar. We get open, we take a look at the S&Ps, folks, what you have out here inside the S&Ps. Last night, what you had is that the, um, you had a, a basically a drone attack, the, uh, the, the second the most powerful general in Iran got, got uh, killed. Bottom line, S&Ps get down to 3206. Markets, folks, it's so deviant, it's so cool, it's unbelievable. Bottom line, you can expect, once again, a test of the highs. Why? Because if we go over to the NQs, what you're going to see is this. The NASDAQ 100 composite broke highs yesterday, had the volume behind the move, Bottom line, that says it's going to get tested again, and I expect the deviance is just about as cool as you can get because don't, um, you know, you could very well get this high tested today, okay, which would be market, this market is shook and everything off. That being said, the bottom line, how it tested is going to say everything. Why? Because these notes and bonds, they've been saying for a long period of time, they continue to want higher price, lower yield. They're moving with conviction today, which is wide price spread, accelerated volume. Bottom line, they want higher price. We go into King Dollar. King Dollar is just the opposite. King Dollar had broken its uptrend last week as well as last month. What King Dollar did out here today, got into the highs of Tuesday, gave it up, gave it up at the price point of 96,103. We got to 105 here at 96,912. You can expect high volatility out here today. We'll see whether it comes into the green. I expect actually we're going to stay into the red. That being said, We've seen the lows of today. I expect you're going to basically test those highs before we go lower in the next couple of days. Stay right there. Tommy and I come right back.